In tonight's NBC5 Responds, bagels and porn, the unique combination at the heart of an extortion scam, the kind that's on the rise. But this time with an X-rated twist and a central character who was not about to become a victim. Here's Lisa Parker. All she wanted was a bagel. What is your favorite bagel? Everything, the everything bagel. A free one, to be specific on her birthday. I'm always signing up for whatever comes free on my birthday. <laughs> the kind anyone can get when they sign up for the My Panera Rewards Card. Yeah, what birthday. Arlene Kaganov got instead? Never anticipated it would lead to, uh, to extortion letters. Threatening emails, one by one. They all say exactly the same thing. Six, so far, detailing behavior some might consider a private matter. They all pretty much say they've been watching me watching porn, <laughs> which I find hilarious. And say they recorded that porn. You've got a fine taste, haha. -ha. And Arlene watching it. Yep, it's you doing nasty things. They call it our little secret. Okay. And they told me I had very good taste in porn. So I thought that was nice. The letter demands she pay $1,400 in Bitcoin to get that recording. One problem, Arlene says. If they were watching you, what would they see? They'd see this little old lady sitting there cursing at the computer because it's not doing what I want it to do. This 86-year-old lifelong Chicagoan with her two master's degrees in chemistry, oh, and that law degree she also earned along the way. Learned something new every day. Was not about to bite. I just said this is the most bizarre thing I've ever seen, and I have to go tell all my water aerobics buddies about this letter. But Arlene does have questions for Panera. The St. Louis-based company acknowledged in 2018 its website did leak customer data, a vulnerability called to its attention by a tech-savvy whistleblower. Leaked data, including customer names, emails, and physical addresses, and birthdays. The company estimated fewer than 10,000 customers were affected. The whistleblower put that number as likely much higher. Arlene is certain that is how the extortionists found her. In their letters, they cite her username and password, a unique combo she says she only used for that Panera account. Okay, I have a password here. As verified in her trusty... There it is. ...old school password book. For its part, Panera told NBC5 responds, no, my Panera rewards account passwords were exposed during the April 2018 incident. We also went over our forensic records from last year and confirmed that Arlene's account was not accessed improperly. Arlene isn't buying that explanation, right? but also isn't buying any Bitcoin anytime soon and wants to be sure no one else falls for this X-rated scam. If they're sending six to me, obviously they're sending a lot more out there to other people. And I'm sure somebody is sending them money. So it ceased to be funny. Now, Panera says it never disputed that data was leaked via its site since fixed, but also says its own internal probe found that customer passwords were not among the details exposed. For her part, Arlene says after those six threatening emails, the scammers finally apparently got the message and these days are leaving her alone. Lisa Parker, NBC5 responds. Don't mess with Arlene. We I love Arlene. Her story. She's, She's awesome. She's fierce and tenacious. Yeah. Love